know, this garden bed is beautiful, but this isn't as lush as it has been in the past, so we're going to do a soil test. And if you haven't done a soil test in your flower bed or your lawn in a few years, well, now is the time. So you want to pick your spot. So if you're testing the soil for your flower bed, you're going to dig 10 holes in that flower bed in different places, and you're going to dump that soil, that shovel full, just about this much, on something that you can spread out. Like, we put it on cardboard, but you can put it on newspaper, put it in your garage, and let this dry out for a few days. If you wanted to test your lawn, you will go in 10 different places, dig down as deep as your shovel, take that shovel full, and again, get rid of the grass. All you need is the soil, and you let it dry out for at least 10 days. Then you go to the Ohio State Extension or your Michigan State Extension. You click onto their website, and you look at their link for a soil test. Once all of this is dry, we'll take about it. We mix it all up because we want it to be an entire area, not just one little part of that particular garden nice and dry. We will box up about two cups of this soil. You'll put it in a plastic bag or in a box that they send you. You send it into the state and they will tell you exactly what that lawn needs to make it lush and beautiful again. I'm looking forward to that. Hey, let's get out there and get growing. <laughs>